today's name of Jesus is the Word. All right, so as we read here in John 1 1, and I'm just going to read it for you again. I know you probably read it already, but we're going to read it again because it's so, so good. All right, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He is and was and always will be here from the very beginning. The Word. The Bible calls Jesus the Word of God. See, He is God. Jesus is God in flesh. He was there in the beginning when when God made the earth. I mean, if, if we turn to the book of Genesis and we look, it's, you know, we're going to see that He said, let us make let us he's talking about him and jesus and and him and jesus have been together the word has been here since the beginning of time and will be until the end and i love that when we when we do look at the beginning and the creation of the world god spoke a word and things were created in fact creation is still creating today because of a word he spoke thousands of years ago Isn't God amazing? Isn't the Word so amazing? And He is so amazing. And you know what's so cool, guys? Is that the Word, that when God created you, He spoke His Word over you. That created your story and the words that were written in your book. Wow, when you think about that, how cool is our God? So as we're thinking about the words that we speak ourselves, uh, tonight we're just going to have a fun activity to do. And this is some a game that me and my family play. It's um, a word game, of course, because we're talking about the word. And um, you're all just going to you know, gather around, maybe in a circle or whatever, or wherever in your living room, and you're just going to say each say a word. And you're going to create a story. So it could start by like... Bob, and then the next person says went, and then the next person says two, and then the next person says the, and then the next person says store. That's a lame story, but the story can continue and continue on after that. So, you know, if you have a small family, you could do like two or three words and really create this story. If you have a larger family, you might want to stick to one or two words. So whatever you guys do, just have some fun with it and see the story you create. And then I want you to remember that as you're creating a story, remember that God spoke his word and created your story. And you know what? It is a good story. So have fun tonight, guys.